Hey guys, short video just to show you a uh, nice Sapelli shell prepper. Make it for a fella in Canada. It's still being uh, you know glued up. I could probably take it apart now, but I'm not gonna. What this is about is I kind of wanted to show you the precision involved and in how I make these. The blade has to come in just enough to get inside the shell and roll the the crimp like this, okay. And if it's too far over, it won't work. And if it's too far to the side, it won't work. And what I do is when I'm making these, you know, I know how I have to get it, but there's quite a few little details that you probably won't be able to see. But I, uh, or basically, I just check it by inserting the shell, and this kind of will show you the operation of how it works. Now you'll notice the shell has to make its way around the blade and I accommodate that. I relieve the inside edge of this before I glue it up. I get in there and I relieve that just a certain way. It's a little thing I have to do. And then the blade just goes right up into there and you can tell where the blade has to go. It has to go right there and then that peels the shell open. And uh, This may be problematic. I may not be able to hold the blade firmly enough, but here's a shell. And I just wanted to show you what it does is, is it starts going by all those little ripples and the blade's going to want to move, of course. But as you go around it, okay, you can hear it snick, 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 snick. Right? At this point, it has opened the shell, as you can see. Okay, So that's the internals of shell prepper, in case you guys were curious. And uh, this is another thing I have to do. Have, this is relieved in a very particular way to guide the shell. Okay. And then the whole thing clamps together with two screws, holds the blade in place. You know, So it's very easy to, to remove and replace the blade. Uh, these are standard utility blades. You can get them at any hardware store. Uh, these you can snap the ends off, but I don't recommend that. It makes the angle too shallow. Just flip it when it gets dull. Flip it, you know, and then throw it away and get another one. They're cheap. It's a it's a, a consumable part. This is Sapelli. I just wanted to show you this up close. Sapelli is really an interesting wood. It's a lot like mahogany in its appearance, and it sands very easily and it machines beautifully. Just uh, no burning. It just uh, it's got short fibers. But unlike Mahogany, this is not soft. Mahogany, you could just about put your thumbnail in it and make a dent. And with this, uh, you really can't do that. It's it's much harder than mahogany. But it machines like mahogany. It's very nice. It doesn't burn quite as bad as mahogany. It's it's, a, it's just an excellent wood. I happen to have a little bit of that laying around, so this one's being made out of sapelli because I'm out of ambrosia maple. So there you go, internals and how these things are uh, precisely checked and everything before I ever even send one out the door. I try my best to make sure that nobody will have any trouble operating it. Enjoy. Thanks for looking. And remember, if you need wax slug making tools, contact me here on YouTube. You can send me your email or message me, you know, privately. I wouldn't uh, post your email up in a comment on any of my videos. You'll get spammed, obviously. So, uh, you know, get a hold of me, and uh, I'll be glad to make one of these for you.